Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I'm here in sunny Seattle, not. It's been raining and snowing, but I've had some interesting questions come up, and I realize whenever we do an update, a lot of times uh, DJ makes decisions because he's always looking for what's the best way for you to work with designs, how is it easiest for you, how do you have the most functionality? So DJ works real hard on our software. Well, we have a um, setting called Convert to Outlines. Now, this has pros and cons. And I'm going to give it a name, and I don't even know if this would be technically correct. But to me, it's the difference between objects and stitches. So I call it object-based versus stitches-based. And this is a very wonderful feature to have to be able to make your choice. But you have to understand what's going on so you can make the choice. And I realized a lot of you do not understand. When we work with a design that is object-based, say I want to work with an outline and I want to do something to it, then I need that outline to be an object so I can go ahead and change the outline, edit the outline, turn it from a run stitch to a motif or a steel or whatever I want to do to it. But if I want to simply resize, if I want to change the colors, if I want to rotate, if I want to remove overlap stitches, you're best working with pure stitches. So when you have remove outline deselected, the program sees each individual stitch is its only thing. It doesn't see it as a run, a satin, or a fill. It sees it as a single stitch which makes it a lot easier and more accurate to accomplish certain things such as resizing. But when you're working with specifics in that design and you want to work with it, you want to work with an object based. So this is the difference. Right now I've got open at this point in time, I've got my total quilter, but it's the same no matter what program. If I come into My Total Quilter and I look at my tools and my preferences, I want you to notice I have Convert to Outlines on Open deselected. I don't want that to be automatic. I want it to open it as stitches because normally we're changing the size, we're changing colors, we're removing overlap, we're doing stuff like that and that works much better when you convert it to stitches. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to come to my library and I'm going to go into Anita Good and go to my baby dinosaurs. This is an applique. Now I'm going to pull out one of these dinosaurs and I'm going to select this dinosaur and I'm going to rotate him so he's going the right direction. Now if we notice over here, I'm going to close my properties. Now in your total quilter, to close your properties box, you come right here you've got your view box, you have your program preferences, and you've got your properties. I'm going to click properties and notice it closes so I have a good view of all my sequence view. In order to bring that back all I have to do is click on it again. Now you're going to notice that I have a placement line and a tack down line because I want to turn this, I want to use this applique I don't want to cut that out myself. I want to pre-cut it and save it to a file for my digital cutter. Or I may, gonna, I may be going to print it out, but we're looking at digital cutters this moment. Now notice when I drop that box down, this is stitches. If I select that and I go to my cut preview, nothing happens. There is no preview because my software doesn't understand these are all individual stitches. So now let's come back and let's open that same design. We're going to open this design only this time. I'm going to go to File Open and I'm going to go ahead and go in there to that design. I'm going to go, instead of going through the library, I'm going to come through Opening a Design. And I'm going to go right here to Floriani, and I'm going to go to Designs, and I'm going to go to my Anita Good Designs, and I am going to go into my Baby Dinosaurs, and let's see, let's find the same dinosaur. 
Let's see, where is he? Well, I was going to find the exact same one, but I see he's down the road a ways. Let's see, maybe he was at the very top and I missed it. Nope. It doesn't matter. We're just going to open one. So we'll open this one. Now notice right here, I have Convert to Outlines. I am going to select that box. And now I'm going to open a design. Now it's going to bring in one of the designs. Now again, here's my outline. that This is the one I would want to cut from. Now I want to drop down and I want to show you now it's a run stitch. Now it has turned this into what I call an object base program. It's looking at the object which is a run stitch outline. Now if I select that and I'm going to make it a dark color so we can see it easily and I go to my cut preview it has created my cut file for my piece of fabric so I don't have to cut this out with scissors. How cool is this? This is a way cool thing. So I'm not going to cut this out as stitches. This way I can go ahead and save it if I go file. Remember artwork always has to be exported. I'm going to go export artwork and I can save this as an SVG file or an FCM if you have a, a uh, cutter that's before uh, scan and cut one, I'm sorry, a brother scan and cut one. You can do a SVM. You've also got your plotter files. So you can now send this, save this design, and use a digital cutter to cut it out. Of course, I could also print it out. At this point, I would mirror image it if I'm going to print it. I'm going to have to mirror image this because remember, if it's going to print on the back and we're going to iron fabric on the front, would need to mirror image. And at that point, I would say file and I would do print preview. Oops, sorry, I've got to I'm I've got to do file. And I'm now going to this is got to be saved. See, we're still artwork. So if I'm going to print this out because I want to cut it, I'm going to go ahead and give it that run stitch. So now it's got a perfect run stitch around it. That is perfect. Now I'm going to say file print preview. And now I could see it if it was a color I could see. Let's see what color I made it. Let's go ahead and see what we did here. Let's close this. Oh, I see it's, of course, it's a white, so you can't see it. Hang on. There we go. Now we should be able to see this. Now that I've turned that into a run, I can go File. And now I can go to Print Preview. Let's try this. The third time's the charm. Then you could see it to iron it onto the back of your fabric. I'm interested in digital cutting because God knows I do not want to cut this out with a pair of scissors, but it can be done. We've been doing it all along. We just got better because we got more fun. So you will see this in both of our programs. And, and if I go into my total control, let's look at total control here, you're going to see the same thing happens. But now total control does not have a cut preview window because the quilting program is about applique and quilting and digital cutting as is our crafting cut. Floriani is more about embroidery. Now again, if I go into my preferences, I have the options to do that. But let's go ahead and look at my library. And let's go ahead. I want to go, actually what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go into my preferences and I'm going to tell it to just convert it to outlines because you already understand. I just want to show you how to do the same thing over here that we did in our total quilter. So let's go to Anita Good. Let's go to our baby dinosaurs. Let's go into our designs file and let's pull the same guy in that I started with in Anita Good with our total quilter software and as soon as he appears I will select him and I will rotate him. Okay, so now the same thing. I want this line that was all stitches before. This is my placement line. So what I'm going to do is I don't have that magic cut preview here. So in this, what I would do is I would right mouse click. I would copy that design. I would open a new piece of paper. I would right mouse click and I would paste it. 
Now, if I want to send this directly to the cutter, I'm doing nothing, but I will go ahead and make this artwork. So I just see I just touched my artwork icon down here. Let me do that. I did it too fast. I apologize. And let me make this a much better color so you can see it. Okay, so now I've brought it in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the bottom star and I'm going to left mouse click and notice that automatically turned that right into artwork. So now I have the same option. I can file, export artwork, and now it will do an SVG and FCM. I've got that those options available again. Or of course I could have, go back a step here, I could have simply mirror imaged it and did file print preview and printed this onto my stick or my applique wonder. So I hope that kind of explains when you see, when you try to change something and you go over into your sequence view and you find out that all you have are stitches. You want to make sure you convert that design to outlines so it will outline the individual places and create let you adjust your satin stitch, your run stitch, your fill stitch. So while normally we probably want it to stay at not to convert outlines because that's the best look you can get for just regular stitching, changing size and everything, but if you do have to get specific, you want to change that with having your outlines. So you want to open it with converting it to outlines. So I hope I've made this clear. I hope I haven't confused it more. But the issue is stay with it opening to stitches. Then if you need to change something about that design, then go ahead and convert it to outlines to make it so you can pull apart the individual pieces. Looking forward to see you again next week. I'll be in Nashville um, at Rivergate. Hope to see you there. And the week after that, I will be at Old City Quilts in um, Burlington, New Jersey. If you haven't signed up for that hands-on, please sign up. Looking forward to seeing you there. See you next week.